side here, the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Barrow. Archer, there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. He loaded up on that right too. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Timber. Oh, strong punch there by Chor. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that kick is good by Burrell. Big power shot there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Single collar tie there. Punch over the top. And they separate. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Burrell. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground-and-pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the fight. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Wow. Oh, nice right hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. Big kick lands. Obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Hands higher, hands higher. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Round two is next. 
Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. That's a really strong leg kick there by Barrow. Fantastic kick that land. Nice hammer fist. Barrow's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, knee to the head. Boy, tie bump. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And that one certainly found the target. He's sticking it over and over again. He's got his head popping back. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out? Anytime it's very hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch. Take him for a ride. Oh, takes him for a ride. What a fantastic takedown. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Closed guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, Peraza has got full mount now. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Got the oh! a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so... Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big head kick lands. Corral gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Punch is blocked. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Another shot lands upstairs. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. 
Just misses there with the left. Look at how he turns his hip over when he goes. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right on the button. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready? Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Double leg shot. Oh, he slams his opponent down. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Close guard. Gets right back up. I mean, what an angle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch land. Ooh. How about that chin? Nice leg kick. Burrell gets in the clinch. Nice. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. I mean, how many can he take? Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice one, two there. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Another takedown land. Now connects with the right. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. And back to his feet. Barrow's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to fight down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Now they're both throwing with power. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single back to a high crotch. Oh, my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Good work from the top here by Barrow. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. single collar tie here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Double leg kick out attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Flush right hand is true. That right hand hurt him a little Burrow, bit. Wow, ground and pound from half guard now. Both fighters back to their feet now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Trying to double up on that jab. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Right hand punch from the clinch. Ooh, what a punch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike. That one appeared to stun him. Wow! Whoa! Oh, straight right. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Yeah, he's in half guard here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Closed guard. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Back to his feet. Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. Ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot.